Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, and we are drinking cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. That's what's going on. No, this is the homebrew swap number 12, and uh, this is coming from a guy named Matt or Bubba Frank. I don't know. He's got multiple personas, uh, but he did send us. This is some kind of blueberry lambic. Is that a blueberry wheat sour? Blueberry Sorry, wheat sour. can't say it's a lambic. He doesn't live in Belgium, but blueberry wheat sour. I mean, look at the color of that. It, it's, uh, it's reddish. It's... Purplish, it's tremendous. It is tremendous, and it uh, smells. Maybe we shouldn't talk. Wonderful. Maybe we should just enjoy it. Yeah. Well, if I do that, then six minutes of just us, us enjoying it and then yeah, pondering the wonderfulness of the uh, blueberry wheat sour. So you have the email in front of you. I have the email. Can in front you of talk me. about what uh, went into this to make what we have here in our hands? All right. I'll run through it real quick. Starting gravity was 10.45 and finished at 10.14, which is interesting. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. 4% okay. ABV, a whopping 1 IBU. <laughs> this is a blueberry wheat sour that consists you almost of had me there. You almost five, <laughs> five, pails, 5 pounds of pale two-row, 4 pounds of wheat malt, 5 ounces of acid malt, um, some more acid malt, looks like later in the mash to adjust the pH, and then one-third of a Lambic blend hops at 60 minutes. I don't know what Lambic blend hops are. I think, if I do remember, somebody does sell, like, aged hops. So oh, maybe really? that's what it is. And just aged um, himself. And a pack of US05. Uh, just as to well make sure as, things happen. Yep, yeah. as well as a pound per gallon of fresh but frozen first blueberries. Mm. These were hand-picked, I believe, up further up in the email. And then one liter starter of Lactobacillus Ramanosus, KCI and Acidophis from uh, cultured from probiotics. Yes, I, I have those in my yogurt. Right? Yes. Nice. So if you go to that. Milk the Funk, this is the big thing that's yeah. happening right oh, yeah. now. Is people buying all kinds of these probiotics and wondering, hey, can I sour with these? Uh, so yep. that's where the sourness <laughs> is coming from. This guy. It's here. Um, he mashed this at, this at uh, 154. Brew in a bag. <sighs> boiled for only 10 minutes. Soured it in the carboy. Um, at 100 degrees for 30 hours, oh, man. and turned down the fermentation temperature and pitched the yeast at 48 hours. Aged for two weeks in primary, then racked onto the blueberries for a week and then bottled. Wow. So well, first of all, the color is tremendous for blueberries in a week. Hmm. Was, tremendous. Yeah, I'll say. Well, but that's a, a lot of blueberries that he's putting in. Oh, yeah. As we're saying, this is was this a five-gallon batch? Is one pound per gallon, so there's yeah. five... Five uh, pounds there. That's that's darn good. Uh, I like that it's a two. Uh, <laughs> when you have sours in your basement and one's approaching three years old, uh, to have something that's been aged what two weeks in primary and yes. then another week uh, in secondary uh, on to blueberries and then bottling. You're talking five weeks until you get this. Yes, that's just great. So this is very similar to like a fast sour, like a Ber Berliner Weiss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's fairly. Thin and sort of a dry finish, despite yeah. the 1014 final. So you you brought that up. What yeah. do you what do we want to talk about? I'm just about? surprised that it's that for high? the having the souring cultures in there that that there's that much yeah. residual sugar in here. And it came to us with plenty of uh, carbonation still in the bottle. Yep. It's not over carbonated by any stretch of the imagination. It's perfectly stable. It's there's a little bit of a bubbling coming up in the glass. So it's not over carbonated. I mean that's spot on and beautiful. So, I mean, that, that final gravity is a stable final gravity. Um, I'm just surprised that that's kind of where it, it for, such a, for such a low starting gravity, that that's, yep. it's only 1014. Um, but maybe, does it, does it get even lower in the bottle? I mean, does it continue to carb? I'm not pouring mine out to check it. <laughs> no, I mean, this is it, right? That's uh -huh. it. We got one 12 ounce bottle. I'm glad we're enjoying it. Yeah, we only got we're one 12 ounce bottle. Celebrating the now. Yeah. And I thought he knew that the rules were half a case of this type of stuff. To us. <laughs> no, it's oh, only okay. one bottle. This is great. It is really great. Because uh, as, as it warms up, you start getting more like the blueberry essence, yeah. too. It's uh, the, the skins are there and yep. the, the flesh inside. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. The, the, the acidity is like super clean. Yep. It's a really clean acidity. I mean, the USO5 is obviously giving you a really clean ferment. Mm. But the sour, there's no funk to the sourness. So th this probiotic blend, this lactobacillus, is just really making lactic acid in a super clean way. Yep. Um, there's zero funk to this whatsoever. Uh, it would be really interesting to see what it would be like with a portion of this with like some... Uh, 
oak cubes or something in it just to give it a little bit of a tannic yeah, balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I, I taste these and I just think summer days and uh, really refreshing. Just a really refreshing beer, man. And it's a it's a nice take on a on a fruit beer because sometimes those are too sweet and they just don't uh, refresh you the way they should. Yeah. And they give fruit beers a bad name, to be honest. I like I like this. This is good. This is like nearly a perfect beer. This is a. He says it's and he even says the, the beer itself isn't I'm, perfect. I don't know. Something happened to it on its way down <laughs> here because it's it's aged nicely in the bottle. Mm. It's such. It's, it's not too sour. Mm -hmm. It's got a very assertive, lactic acidicness to it, but it's not face-rippingly sour. It's a very enjoyable sour. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely, uh, it's got a pucker to it, but you're not, you, it, 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 I keep going back to it. That's a good, yeah. that's a good thing, that's for sure. Uh, and you can't, I just got to keep say it one more time, you can't beat the color, man. It's just so super cool that it's come out, that color. I mean, it really... Sets it off as something special in the glass. Mm. Um, and the aroma is nice. Definitely a, the fruit aroma, acidic fruit aroma is there. Mm. Really well executed, Matt. Thanks so much for sending this down to us. This yep. is tremendous. So I think people would want to see the recipe. So, Matt, you're watching. Put in the comments below. Um, and again, you know, home brewers. Best kind of people in the world. Yeah, if you got yeah. questions for Matt about the process that we didn't cover in his email... Put them in the comments, and yep. hopefully Matt will uh, jump in and respond. Absolutely. And if not, we'll, we'll help out. Um, so that's it. Great. Tremendous. Number 12 no in the bag. Move. I think that uh, there was only one of the 12 that we've done, and we knew. We and knew. We knew that uh, it wasn't going to be, like, too, super stellar, but he was looking for feedback on it. We gave that, but... 11 odd, this is pretty good odds. Very good stuff. This is very good stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, for John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Check out the recipe later. Uh, let's brew on. Sour on. Very good. Cheers.